Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> we knew this stuff was gonna be showing up everywhere, didn't we? I spotted something that has the potential to be one of my first goal items. Look at the frogs in the VW. Look closely as what's happening here. Here's another one. Now this does say made in Italy. Mm, was it really? Was it really? Hold the fort. That's only $22. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, as promised in yesterday's video, I am back at the Paradise Valley Antique Mall. Yesterday was their sidewalk sale flea market, and then today I'm gonna go inside and take a little time to look for some higher end items. That is my quest today. I'm kind of setting a goal for myself. I would love to find five items that sell for $100 or more. That's my quest. Doesn't mean I won't pick up other stuff. I can almost guarantee I'm gonna pick up other stuff. Um, but I'm kind of setting my mindset that way when I go inside, channel high end, high end, high end. And uh, let's see, let's see how close I can come. Count along with me as we do this. All right, let's get shop done. All right, Paradise Valley. Let's get inside and see what we can find. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> All right. I think I'll start. I you a lot because I still have that little nightstand. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, I remember that. I love that thing. That's so cool. I'm changing it up. I'm going to start on this side today. Okay. Normally I'd go the other way. Creature of habit. That's a cool little thing there movie rail. Oh, it even has a little swivel to it. Oh, it would hold drinks though really good, wouldn't it? Got a little Howard Pierce bird. Now it isn't just about finding things that sell for $100 or more. There has to be a profit margin in it too. That's the key. $100. It's been rewired. So it's got a new cord on it. So they rewired it to be a functional lamp but this is super mid-century and very very cool Let's see look at these little piggy mugs aren't you cute happy day piggy mugs those are sweet all right i don't think we're gonna find anything in this booth even though that's awful cute that is all of Pooh's friends having a nice little lunch that is it's melmac is it melmac or just melamine is it branded melmac it's branded melmac oh would you look at that that's probably not a very common piece we've got 19 50 64 walt disney productions i may look that up i may look that one up I did a quick look up and 20 is about the right price on that. Hyacin, it's century. Right. When I came through here yesterday, I did spot quite a few of the booths that were running sales. So we are gonna go key in on those. Although these little owls are super sweet. They're not priced. Oh, no, no price on the owls. All right, I see something on the table there. Some little corn, salt and pepper shakers for $16. Those are really fun. Oh, twister mug, $9, it's a good price. But I'm being very specific today. Gonna stay focused. The thing about 
at an antique mall is I can walk through and take note of these items. It's not like a, a thrift store where somebody else can come right behind you and grab it. I mean, somebody could here, but it's not super busy. And people come in here, you know, really selective of what they're looking for. Oh, look at him. He's only $30. He's 3D. He's three-dimensional. I don't know if you can see that. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of in love with that. He, he may be going home with me. $15 for the old primitive ladder? That's a really good price. I mean, not as a ladder, but as a display piece. You can put, I mean, these are wide enough to make as a little shelf, but you could also like put um, linens, old linens and stuff over that. I guess that's where my mind's always thinking is display, display, display. Now that I have a store, look at all of these amazing hand painted stools. Wow. Oh, it's another uh, window with the dried flowers. I have one. I have a big one and I love it. I'm not super fond of the color of the roses in there. If they still had some color to them, like if there was some blues or some pinks and some purples in there, I'd like it a lot better. So I'm going to leave that one. Look at that table. That is super cute. Oh my gosh. We're going to look at a house today. Ah, that I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's the one because I don't know if I've talked about it, but Rachel and I want an actual bird room. I mean, my ultimate goal is to have like a, a walk-in, sit-in aviary for all of our little birds. And uh, this house has the perfect spot for that and it's got fruit trees in the backyard i know i've looked at a couple of houses that were like oh yeah that that would be great but this one this one is really really appealing and the location of it and everything i'm looking at this little guy for three dollars i know i said i wasn't gonna really like get you know like a bunch of little stuff but for three dollars i gotta get the hummingbird so um thinking about that this afternoon. As I'm filming this, Noah is doing his go-kart race. That's a really sweet little painting from 1986 or 15. Um, so there's a lot going on today, a lot going on today. And of course, I'm shopping. I'm shopping because it's a work day for me. Look at this little box. A little carved, is it carved or is that is it pyrography? She's kind of sweet. For 19. That's it at an antique mall. You have to dig a little deeper to find those gems. 20 on that wall pocket. I'm going to assume this one's probably the same. Let's see. 20. Yep. That's a good price. It's just not a good price for me, but that's okay. All right, let's keep going. All right, 30% off everything in this booth. <laughs> we knew this stuff was gonna be showing up everywhere, didn't we? Everything is 30% off in here. Well, when you think about it, there are people that come into an antique mall that don't go into a Goodwill. So they don't know that that stuff is all over town. And that's, that's the name of the game. I'm kind of digging this metal wall sculpture. It's marked at 160. Oh, it's got a look in the cases. What is that? Nielsen? Very pretty. Nothing yet, nothing yet. Ooh, I see some glass birds over there we're gonna look closer at. All right, let's take a peek at these ducks. Getting up close, um, they do not look like Murano. There's just something about, it's like the bills were painted and then the way the head is right there. So uh, I don't, I mean, they do have some of the elements 
That would be Murano, like the little gold feet. But I, there's, the heads are throwing me. It's a good price. It's $40 for the pair. And they are 30% off of that. So it would be, it would only be 30 for the pair. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not happy with the tops. Now, I don't know if, if this could have been done after the fact by someone, the painting, but just the, um, the blotchiness up here, it just, it's, um, it's concerning me. So I'm probably, no, it's not probably, I'm not going to get those. They're just not sitting right with me. And I'm sorry if I just disappointed anybody. I think I am, however, going to get this little three-piece set of Port Marion spice jars for, it would be 20 with 30% off, so it would be only be $14 for these three little jars. Yes. Okay, well, let's see what else we can find. I have some cute little chickens made in Japan. Nope. Price. Oh, it comes with the big chicken. So it's the large chicken cookie jar and the salt and peppers for $35 minus 30%. So it'd be almost 10 bucks off. I know it's got a little paint wear, but that, that adds to the charm on these, I think. I think we'll get them. All right, we're back. We got our goodies taken up front. Veggies on rope for $12. Oop, I should have sent this with her too. Uh, and it's 30% off, so that's uh, uh, seven, it's like eight bucks for all the veggies. I, I'm, I know, here I go. I'm such a sucker for this stuff, but I gotta do it. I spotted something that has the potential to be one of my first goal items. They are dolphin sculptures. They have a very nice look to them. And the pair is $80, but it's 30% off of that. So these would be like $56 for the pair. And I think that leaves me a lot of room to work with. She just came over here and put a sail on. So we're gonna take a peek. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Pretty awesome. Today. That is very sweet of you. Well, we're a military family now. Oh, thank you for your service. He is very sweet. That kind of looks like Tiffany thrifting Vegas' dog, huh? If he was all black, I'd get him for her. I don't know. I might. He's drawing me. I still might get him for her. I think she could forgive that he's got little white socks. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, I love this strawberry cake. Fun little pig. Very fun little pig. Elephants. Elephants are always popular. Oh. oh. What's that say? Crafted in Thailand. He's kind of cool. For six dollars. We're gonna pick him up. And then let's see what else we can find. Oh my gosh. Look at the frogs in the VW. Look closely as what's happening here. <laughs> That's kind of hysterical. Oh, it's a bank. It's a bank. It's $10. Oh, I just, I just, I have to get the frogs. Yes. Let's see what else we can find in here. Just some really cute things. <gasps> Look at the little duckies. 
Oh. Darn it. I'm going to have to get those little duckies too. They're, um, they're six bucks. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to look, I, my hands are full of this stuff. So uh, I will look and see what the price is on the other duck piece there. Let's see if we're going to end up with him. I'm just a sucker for cute critters. I gotta tell ya. I have trouble leaving them behind. Oh, look at these guys. Enjoying the uh, grapes and the cheese. <laughs> that is so fun. Oh, there's another cake. Chocolate strawberry cake. Those are great. All right, let's come peek in here. She does a lot of um, handcrafted things or repurposing things. Is that Morris? It's made, no, it's made in the Czech Republic. Thought that was Morris for a minute. Who remembers Morris? Morris the cat. That's kind of a cool piece. Um, I think I just dated myself there, but that's okay because I think many of you will uh, be right there with me remembering Morris the cat. He was kind of an icon of my growing up. He was kind of the grumpy cat of his day. Beautiful things, beautiful things. Is that a dinosaur on wheels? <laughs> made by rich frog don't think he's that old but he's certainly fun that's for sure little swans oh i see a turtle what are you it's a cast iron turtle i don't really have a cast iron turtle yet but i don't i don't need to pick him up today I don't need to be doing that. I need to concentrate on things for resale, not things for myself. I am trying to get better. This is cute. What are you made in Japan? I like the little like the little flowers they added on top here. But I'm wondering what I guess it's just a shaker and they repurposed it into this cute little cute little flower holder. Uh -huh. This guy is really cute. He's got the little knife tucked in underneath there. He's got little leather ears. I see a little... Oh, so this is a really great idea. So they must make these little paper flowers out of sheet music. I love this idea of turning little single salt shakers into little flower vases. That is great. That is a great idea. And they're priced right too. I may come back. I may come back for some of these. But again, I'm trying to stay on my mission. I'm going to try really, really hard to stay on my mission. <gasps> like getting a amber rooster um, they don't call these, like when it's a hen, it's a hen on nest. So what is it? Just a rooster candy dish? It's probably Indiana glass. He's only $9. He's only $9. That is something we will grab. Right behind him is this beautiful Mexican pottery water can. Now, is it Mexican pottery? I am tending to think that this is not a Mexican pottery piece, but it's made to look like it. The only reason I say that, it's it's not very well painted. There is no maker's mark. It is a terracotta, but I don't know, there's some, it, the feel is off. It doesn't feel right. The price is right. So then I go, but would somebody still buy it for at least 30 bucks and I'm not sure. I think it might be more like a 20 to $25 piece. Um, so I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it. Oh, I'm trying not to knock anything else off the shelf and I'm gonna get this rooster. 
pretty doggy. He's kind of got the spaghetti going, which is nice. I love that little bench right there, too. Birdies, birdies everywhere. All right, we have another 30% off and 50% off glassware. Okay, I wonder what all is considered glassware. We need to do a little digging. I see some really fun stuff in there. But my hand is still full with a rooster, so I need to go offload my rooster and then explore the glassware. All right, our hands are free now. Let's explore a few of these pieces. So he would be 10. It's a squirrel. Ah, so he would be 27. A frosted elephant would be 8. P S G P S and G. I don't know that maker. Hmm. Look at that rooster. He is marked as Murano. Give him a feel over first. His feathers are like pointy, but not chipped pointy. Let's pull him out <gasps> and look a little closer. Oh, he's very top heavy. He is really interesting. Now, if he goes with the 50% off sale, that would make him only $22.50. And I think this might be my second item with potential to be what I want him to be. He's pretty cool. See the very, very even Bulacante bubbles? It's a little hard because you're seeing multiple layers, but it's it's very precise in a pattern. And then he's got the aventurine inside the glass there. And he's a rooster, which is a plus. So let's grab him. I'm gonna look down here at the shells because this one is calling me. It's 40. So make it 20. I mean, it's beautiful. I'm just not sure I could get much more than 20 for it. So I'm gonna have to leave that one. There's another pretty controlled bubble paperweight, not signed. Put him back. 35. Yep, can't do that, can't do that. I think we may just end up with another rooster. I guess it's going to be a rooster kind of day. That's going to be our theme. Chickens and roosters. Oh, that's right, because I got chickens already, too. That's kind of funny. All right. Just goes that way sometimes. All right, let's go on the other side of this space and see what goodies there are. That is really neat. It is $225. It's a very, very tight booth. Look, there's my there's my foot. That's all the walking space there is. Because there's a dog in the way. <laughs> and then there's a skeleton. This dog is kind of cool. Oh buddy, you are you are heavy too. Okay, there we go. Yeah. A little more walking space. <laughs> Goodness, lots of stuff. Oh, it's very tight through here now, too. We can make it. We can make it. More glass, though, along the way. Or first cat. Oh, you are heavy. 58. All right. Ooh. Okay, let's go over here. This is 20% off of any item $20 or more. All right. Let's find that item. Got some older, well, that one's older. I don't know about that one, but that one's definitely older. Raggedy Andy. Some pretty glowy glass in here. It's the um, 
the parrot uh, pattern, and I forget the name of it. It's got a name, but it's got parrots on it. Uh, what's the name of it? They don't have it named either. That's super cool. The sugar and the creamer are $40, but they would be 20% off. So it'd be $32 for the set. That's not a bad price. Not a bad price. Might have to think about that one. I wouldn't make my normal like three times, um, but I could make a profit on that. All right. I think we'll keep moving. Noah just texted and told me that he's running ahead of schedule today and I could pick him up in like an hour. I'm like, ah, that wasn't the plan. So now I told him, well, you might just have to go shopping with me because I'm down on a very different part of town. Uh, so I don't want to run him all the way home just to come all the way back down to where I planned on shopping today. He seemed to be okay with it. We'll see. So I might have a fun little shopping trip with Noah. Oh, look at all of the socks, just like what I bought the other day. That of course would be on another video. So you're gonna have to hit that subscribe button and come back and watch more of my thrifting and shopping adventures. It costs nothing to hit that subscribe button and it really does support your favorite YouTubers. I know we all very much appreciate it. And cute little duck guy, but nope, nope, Danny. Come on, let's set your brain a little higher end. Let's set the brain higher end. Moser, cake stand, jadeite. 65 and if you see that I passed up something by all means let me know down in the comments I am open to hearing it I tend my brain gets a little overwhelmed when there's so much stuff that I have to look through so it's definitely possible for me to miss really good stuff 30% off including firm well, that's what we like to see. Let's see if there's some goodies that we can't leave behind. Sometimes things are just not quite my style, my cup of tea, and they don't really draw me in. Like now I'm not really, I'm not really seeing anything that screams, look at me. That's a purse. That's a purse. It's like a little rag purse. It's kind of fun. Hmm. But we'll explore all the way through here. They made it like a little maze, like a little windy maze in here. old that's not a spinning wheel that's a like a grinding wheel oh, oh. Danny it was just a little toy sword that was sitting here on the edge it snagged me they're calling it a spinning wheel I don't think it is a spinning wheel though I think it's it was some kind of a grinder because there's like a shoot for something to come out here. If anybody knows what the original purpose of this piece is, I would love to know. And I think the price is super right. I just don't know what it is. Let's see what we have over here. I didn't find anything over in that sale booth. Jade, Alaska. Huh. salt and pepper shakers. Of course, you know I'm attracted to the birds for 15. Flowers are cute. 
I have one of those. I have one of those already. Not going to be tempted. Hmm. All right, we're going to keep moving. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, another fun chicken. He's a pepper shaker. That is a humongous pepper shaker. He's $12. Again, I think we're going to continue our chicken theme with this guy. Oh, he's got a big chip. It is on the bottom. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think he's probably worth about 20 Oh, I'm sorry, chicken. I am going to leave you with that chip. I would have got him without the chip. But I'm just trying to be better. I'm trying to be better. He's in no danger of like going to the bins or anything. So he can live here for a very long time, very comfortably. So I'm not quite as compelled to rescue when I'm at an antique mall. I wish these were colored. I wish they were colored. Oh, those are fun. The stacking redware. These are $30. Those are great. I have to remember where the items are that I kind of glanced by yesterday uh, when I skimmed through here after the sidewalk sale. I think I'm getting to where those items are. These little kitchen prayer pieces uh, can be quite valuable. The set as is for $30, five piece set for $30. Uh, that's almost a no-brainer for me. It does say as is, but I'm not, I'm not, oh, okay. She's got some damage on the teapot there. But each one of these alone um, has a lot of value. So we're going to, we're going to pick up that five-piece set. There's lots of fiesta here on the table. Creamer and sugar with a little underplate. That's really cool. That would be so cool just sitting out on a table especially if that was your decor color. I think that's the thing that made Fiesta so popular was the colors. You know, everybody likes to have their color. All right. I spotted this too. This is Pioneer Woman. Rolling pin, and I, I remember right, these bring pretty good money. And this one is only 10 bucks. So we're gonna pick that up too. All right, so we're over on the other side of the aisle now, looking through. It's kind of a fun little miniature ball pitcher for 18. It's a newer piece. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Little ducklings over there in the corner. Now, good lesson. This Arte Murano I set. Check it out. Hecho in Venezuela. That means made in Venezuela. It's got the Murano name. So they're basically telling you it's in the style of Murano. That's the problem with a lot of these pieces out there. Murano is not a trademarked name. So they can use it on their labels and it fools a lot of people. Here's another one. Now this does say made in Italy. Mm, was it really? Was it really? Uh, because this definitely is not Murano, but yet they're going to have you thinking it is. Again, this piece here, not Murano. I see a little glass owl paperweight. He's only $8. Little owl's only $8. Now again, he's not my $100 item, but I know I have a lot of owl fans and eight is a good price for me to pay. I suspect he'll sell in the 20 to $25 range. And let's see what else is over here. More, not Murano. Here's another piece, not Murano, but this one's actually a nicer one. It's got a lot of really great elements and it would sell for really good money, but it's not Murano and I can tell you, the true Murano pieces, the ones that sell for hundreds of dollars, you're not gonna see 
these little bubbles caught around the fish. The fish are super defined. Look at the eyes of the fish. I'll try to flash one up here on the screen for comparison, but you just have to look at the quality of the workmanship. There wouldn't be all these little kind of bubble mistakes caught inside. And I suspect the bottom of this is not clear. Let's look. Oh, here we go. See, cloudy. Can you see that? It's a cloudy bottom. It is not a clear Murano bottom. So nice piece, but not Murano. And let's go in here. Looks like some interesting things. That's a pretty little Limoges dish for $9 with poppies. Again, the poppies are what drew me because poppies are super popular. Unfortunately, this does have a chip. They've colored it, kind of hidden it, but it is a chip nonetheless. So we'll have to leave that one. Without that chip, I would have picked that up. Let's see what else is over here. Nice stuff. It's all nice stuff, but my eye is looking for things that I can flip for a profit. That's the name of the game when you're a reseller. And all of these people here are resellers. That's why they're in an antique mall. So it's truly a treasure hunt. I'm gonna look closer at this summer sew piece. Summer sew uh, refers to the different layers of glass that create the different colors. This is $28.95. That's not a bad price. I do suspect this one is a Murano piece. I'm not sure it's my $100 piece but I think it's worth more than 30. I wish it was signed. That would definitely make it more. I'm gonna think about that one. I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna think about that one. We'll see how much it pulls to my brain. I saw these really pretty blue vases again. These are just a cheaper art glass, but the color, the color is spectacular and the price is definitely right. Oh, they're pure one. Nine dollars, nine dollars, and twelve dollars. I mean, those are gorgeous. I would put those in my house. I think I'm picking those up. All right. And sometimes that's how I make my decision. Is it something I would sell it? I would sell it for the right price, but I would also keep it and decorate with it. So, working hard hardly working. Oh, that's kind of fun. I should put that on my desk so people know when they can bug me. <laughs> the Osbournes. Oh, that's a really pretty lamp. I'm not sure I like the shade, but I like the pine cone and the, the quilted glass. That's very cool. Wait a minute. Hold the fort. That's only $22. Wait a minute. Am I reading that right? $22 for that? I think I just found potential item number three. All right, that was exciting. Look at all these little primitive color handled utensils. I love the ones that have the wear on them. Did you just know that was somebody's favorite spoon they used? Ooh, ice pick. Ooh, who remembers the movie where an ice pick was the uh, the tool of choice? Mm -hmm. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you know. Look at these Kokeshi dolls. <gasps> Look at the painting. So that's one of the ways when you're looking at a Kokeshi doll, look at the quality and detail in the painting. More likely than not, the more detailed it is, uh, the better the quality of the artist, the higher the value. Not signed. I would like it better if he was signed. Not signed, but that, that painting is done 
really nicely. I'm wondering why they didn't sign it. You know what? I'm going to take a chance on these at $10 each because I think they're very well done. See this little ceramic vase by Wolf for $10. It's got a, it's almost like a Raku at the top and Raku at the bottom with a glaze on it. Now, I don't know anything about it, but I know somebody had to have some skill to make this piece. And it's really nicely done. And $10 is the right price for me to explore it further. All right, I always find incredible things in this booth. 50% off the green X's. <gasps> Ooh, ends May 31st. Does it really though? Does it really? I've come to this booth for years and there's always great sales in this booth, so I'm just saying. I'm just a Raggedy Ann living in a Barbie doll world. Shawnee corn teapot. That's Royal Hager and it's a lamp. For how much? How much? 75. 75. Ah, this is one of the pieces I saw yesterday. I think it's a Sasha Brastoff, right? Although I don't see the Sasha. Oh, yes, there it is. I was going to say, that looks like Sasha B. There's the tag. Oh, it's only $9. Uh, yes, please. We'll take you. And I'm looking at these metal fish bookends. Big old angelfish definitely have some age on them. That. How much are you? Fifteen for the pair. Needs polishing. Nope. I'm not polishing those. They got character. Oh, we had some of these in the store that we sold. The little hanging vases. Look up. Look everywhere. This booth is so full of awesome goodies. The case. Ugh, oh, the case. Where do you even begin in this case of wonder? And then there's an even better one that I think over yonder that we're going to go to. After I look through this case. Wait, there's a little piece of cloisonne that's 50% off. So it's $2.50 for the little piece of cloisonne. I'm going to have to get that for sure. Let's see what else is on sale in here. Oh, look at that brooch right there for $5.50. I think we have to get that one too. I think I just have to have them open this case for me. I'm waiting for somebody to open the case. Look at this. I don't know what it would have been for. Were they using it for just a little rug? They're calling it a rug. It's only 10 bucks. Sticks with my chicken theme too. All right, let's see. Well, I know for sure I'm taking this. I will take that with me. And then I'm spotting another set. Let's see. I'm gonna stay right where I'm at. <laughs> 9.50 for that gorgeous set. We will take that one too. Okay. And then I'm really trying to get to this basket right here. Is that what you were trying to get to? I get? was, yeah. Because it's actually Six bucks. I know. Six bucks for that beautiful Native American basket. Uh, awesome. We'll take that too. This is a Monet for, for $2.50. Yeah, we'll take that one too. Oh gosh, another gorgeous piece for $2.50. I don't see any missing stones. We'll take that one. This one would be six dollars hmm. handing it all over Oop. Don't grab it. she's throwing it on the floor <laughs> oh wow look at this one I'm just looking to see if there's any missing stones if there's no missing stones we're gonna grab that one will be six dollars this is an interesting piece I can't really tell the age of it, it kind of looks 90s to me just that back maybe dawn of hudson vintage can confirm or deny for me in the comments but 
it's kind of cool. I'm not going to grab that one right now. I think we got to get to the other side over here. Oh my goodness. Let's see what other cuties we can find. That's an interesting piece. It's got a lot of the uh, Moriage texture on it. Goodness, how do you decide? This piece would now be $12.50. Oh, look at that necklace inside of there. I love that too for $8. Now this says it is Cowan Blue Bowl. I think I'll leave the Cowan, but I'm gonna grab that multi-strand beaded necklace. Wow. Let's peek down here. I see another multi-strand that's only $5. I'll grab that one too. This one's $1.50. How can you go wrong for $1.50? I see this one that's got the little rosebud beads. This one is also $1.50. I'll grab that too. All right, now we're in the other case. I already see some things. I guess I'm buying some jewelry. I love the pottery pieces in here. Yeah, can we get in this one? I keep watching the Van Briggle. It's like, it needs to come down a little bit more for me. Just a little bit more. All right, let's look. Let's look at this. Spoon brooch. Is that... Is that this? Made in Sweden? That would only be $2.50? Uh, yeah, we'll take that. I will probably go to a Goodwill after this. That's interesting for $4. Yeah, look at all those little beads. It's my jewelry day here. This one says, wow, that's kind of spectacular for $10. All right, we'll take that. See a little string of vintage pearls. Ooh, those might actually be real pearls, huh? They are knotted in between. Oh, it's longer than I thought. Look at it. <laughs> I thought it was like a choker length. That's not, and it's three dollars. We'll take that one too. This is a beautiful piece here. It is rookwood. Let me just show you the bottom, so you know the rookwood mark, because it doesn't say rookwood. You just need to know that that's rookwood. But if you ever see that at a good price, pick that up. This is the one I spotted. This little vintage guy here for like four bucks, not even with a little clasp on it. We'll grab that one. And this one has a barrel clasp. Let's see, are you knotted in between? This one's not knotted in between. I don't think I like that one as much. Not as much. That's plastic. And let's see what this one is. Those are little knots in between there. Okay, all right. And that one is, is, hold still tag, $2.50. All right, we'll grab that one too. And this is another one. This one, oh, that's the one I just looked at. That's how my brain goes. All right, I think that's going to do it for us. Who knew I was going to get all the jewelry out of this case? What is this one? Imperial. Roseville. That's kind of cool. All right, I think we're good. And just like that, I've got more jewelry to sell. Little Dresden girls are pretty adorable. Lamp crystals. 
That's a pretty uh, sugar canister. Zucker, zucker, zucchero, azurar. All the different languages. Look at the glowy glass. Lots of glowy glass. It's at retail pricing, as you would expect, especially since they know how to display it. Fun to admire, nonetheless. A lot of cupies. Those are really fun chrome craft chairs in a mauve pink. Those are in really great condition for age. Wow. 225. See what we got on this little glass display. Some Blendo. And I tell you what I hate when you go to research Blendo, eBay likes to bring you back Blenko. And you have to tell it, no, no, I really was looking for Blendo. <laughs> One of the quirks of the search engine. One of many, I should say. Look at the little poo in a cup. <laughs> that just seems wrong. Little nut dish over here with little squirrel salt and peppers. Those are 11. There's an artisania rinconata, but he is 25. 15 on the little signed bud face. Just says USA. Oh no, they got their name on there too. That's good. I don't see anything else. Little piece of treasure craft for $32. I love seeing treasure craft make a great comeback. Okay, I already personally think clowns are a little creepy, and then there are some that just go way over the top. So I spotted these yesterday and I said I'm gonna come back and look a little closer. 45, 50, 65, look at the color of those really good and those are good prices just not where I can be on them but those are great prices that is a whole bag of broken or tangled costume jewelry somebody wants a little project bag I don't know why I'm looking at more jewelry I really really don't need to buy more jewelry I need to sell what I have first Ooh, coral <laughs> I don't know why that's got a little hole drilled in that one. That's interesting. I am on my last row, and then I will be able to go pick up Noah and see how he did in his go-kart race, which is what he's finishing up right now. Those are 35. 35 is not a bad price. Not a bad price. Very long tail though to get a bigger price on those. Um, that's the reason I'm going to leave them. I can get uh, upwards of $70 for a piece like that over on Cherish, but it takes a while. I saw these fish yesterday. It is $30. So I am going to leave those, but they are pretty spectacular. I see some fun mid-century things in this booth. Get all the old Tupperware. Some cranberry glass. That's Amberina right back there. For 28. I've been buying up a lot of that and I've been paying a little bit too much. Um, but I love it so much. But I'm going to resist this time. I'm going to resist. I'm going to be a good girl. I've got quite a pile up at the uh, checkout already. So now I did just get a set of these canisters um, from a seller and whatnot. Sadly, one of them came broken and I think it was this size came broken. So I'm tempted to get these so that I have the complete set and then I would have the complete set plus one. I think I will. I think I'll grab those so that I have a complete set again. Ooh, those are so blue and that oh those tables they're just painted but they're fun right 30 yeah I don't have any place for them right now though but this oh I see why it's so blue in here because they put a blue sheet behind there it actually makes things pop and look really nice very nicely done and drew me in that's for sure 
see this little birdie here. Five dollar. Yeah, he's going in my collection though. I have a little collection of all these strange little birds. I think this one is Japan. Some are made in Czech Republic, but he's mine. All right, one last thing before I check out Z's amazing. Oh, I know, I show these, I'm like, did I show them yesterday? I think I showed them yesterday. I'm just in awe of these, this pink opaline glass shades and the brass work. And then there's a matching pair. And it's a thousand dollars for the set. And they do plug in their actual lamps. I really think those are awesome. All right, I did it. Another cart full. Got to get in the car now.
right, well, I solved the issue with Noah because they, it's actually a go-kart track. He says, well, what if I just do a couple rounds of go-karting? I'm like, perfect. So right about the time I get there, he should be finishing up and it'll be time to head. I'm gonna try to talk him into going to a store with me. I'm gonna try really, really hard. Don't know if I can do it. I'm gonna try, cross fingers. But you'll know on the next video whether that happened or not. Actually, no. That video will probably come before this one because I had to time this one around, yeah, the life of a YouTuber. You gotta figure out when all these videos are coming out. No, but you've probably already seen the video if he went shopping with me. Sorry, I know that was confusing. You know what? I put something up every single day. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that little button, and leave me a comment, and the thumbs up don't hurt either. And with that, you go be profitable and make it fun.